Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the clutch in your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord and shut off the water supply valves. Use pliers to help remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Release the retaining clamp and pull the drain hose off of the coupler and set the hose aside. Detach the two control panel end caps by pulling them off from the top. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws, securing the control panel. Lift up the control panel. Next, disconnect the lid switch wire connector. Using a flathead screwdriver, release the spring clips securing the cabinet to the rear panel. Tilt the cabinet toward you, slide forward, and remove. Remove the fabric softener dispenser or agitator cap. Lift out the cover and use a half-inch square drive to unthread the agitator retainer. With the retainer loosened, you can lift off the upper agitator. Remove the bushing and use a 9 16th inch deep well socket to unthread the bolt securing the lower agitator. Remove the agitator. Lift the spacer and the plastic washer off of the transmission shaft. Next, release the drain pump retaining clips and pull the pump off of the motor shaft. Disconnect the motor wire connectors. To make the procedure easier, we recommend uninstalling the motor. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the mounting screws. Release the bottom mounting clip. Support the motor, then release the top mounting clip and set the motor aside. Now carefully tip the appliance back and rest it on a towel or blanket. Detach the wire retainer from the transmission housing. Use a half inch socket to unthread the mounting bolts, securing the transmission. Slide the transmission out. If still intact, remove the thrust washer. Use a flathead screwdriver to help detach the C-clip. And remove the retainer spring. You can now lift the old clutch off of the transmission shaft. Prepare the new clutch for installation by inserting the bushing into the bottom of the housing. Now slide the new clutch onto the transmission shaft. Secure the clutch with the retainer spring. Secure the seat clip as well. Slide the thrust washer onto the transmission shaft. Then reinstall the transmission.
thread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure. Snap the wire retainer into place. Return the washer to its upright position. Before you reinstall the drive motor, inspect the coupler for damage and replace if necessary. Now line up the prongs on the coupler cog with the holes in the isolator, then slide the motor into position. Reposition the mounting clips and snap them into place. Rethread and tighten the screws. Reconnect the motor wire connectors. Realign the drain pump on the motor shaft and secure the pump with the retaining clips. Realign the plastic washer and the spacer. Reposition the lower agitator. Thread and tighten the bolt to secure. Replace the bushing. Realign the upper agitator and insert the cam and cog assembly. Insert the retainer and spring then use the half-inch square drive to tighten. Align the cover and snap on the dispenser or cap. Reinstall the cabinet by sliding the front edge of the cabinet underneath the base frame. Use your foot to push it into position. Align the two notches in each side of the cabinet with the tabs on each side of the base frame. Make sure the sides of the cabinet are properly aligned with the rear panel. Reinstall the spring clips to secure the cabinet. Reconnect the lid switch wire connector. Lower the control panel and snap the retaining clips into the slots in the main top. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure the control panel. Realign the end caps and snap them into place. Reattach the drain hose to the coupler and secure it with the clamp. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines to the inlet valve. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord back in, and your washer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.